suppose you think you've heard every story in the stars by now. Stories of war, lawlessness, death. After all, can't kick over a rock in this galaxy without finding some blood underneath. That said, this story is bloodier than most. It's about a town. A little scrap of barely anything holding on for dear life on a rock named Gehenna. Good folk, mostly. But where there's law, there's people looking to break it. The Devil Riders. The only law they followed was a decree of iron and lead. Now, Gehenna ain't just another hunk of backwater rock. It used to be a testing grounds, back when the company ran things. The company dreamed up new weapons of war, bent beasts to their will. You name it, they tried it. Bet you can guess how that turned out. The town tried to leave the past buried, but the Devil Riders set upon digging up company secrets that could only lead to ruin. The Devil Riders waged an all-out war. The town held out against them best they could, and after decades of spilt blood, they said enough. Sheriff drew up a bounty of blood for any mean bastard crazy enough to take on the Devil Riders. The wind on Gehenna was hot as spent powder. Smelled like it too. As soon as the vault hunter's boots tasted dirt, he was off to town to see a sheriff about a bounty. <coughs> Ain't that the damnedest thing? Someone was whistling. A figure waited on the Ridge, all silk and iron. She was looking for something. The devil waited at her feet, hoping that something was food. Over here. Don't mind my devil. He won't bite. Unless I tell him to. Easy, Toge. Easy. They don't mean us no harm. <clears throat> so. You must be the one who just crashed in a heap of dust and doom. You here for the Sheriff's bounty, or do you have other business on Gehenna? Indeed. The bounty drew me here. Hope you know what you're in for, Gunslinger. The Devil Riders are tough enough to chew glass and spit sand, and mean enough to steal the coins off a dead man's eyes. You want to make for town. I'm headed that way myself. You can follow me if you like. Come on, Toge. <laughs> I raised that devil from birth. His name's Togo. <clears throat> Loyal as can be. You know, it seems to me we're not so different from the devils, you and I. Let the weak fall so the strong can survive. Sheriff sure stirred up a devil's nest with that bounty. But the way I see things, a man of law should fight his own fights. Hear that? There's devils up <clears> there. <throat> I'll draw them out. Gunslinger like you could come in handy, but I only ride with the best. Am I the best? Well, I have killed thousands and will kill thousands more before I meet death. Is that so? Well, still a ways to town.
What'd you find, Toge? Ooh, what do we have here? Looks near to hatching. Ugh, this one's not worth the trouble. I need something with a little fight in it. Blood in the air. Feeding time. Meaning it's them or us. Put you in the phone, Orchard! This was always your name. Towns this way. Only the strongest survive on Gehenna. Lots of folks in town can't defend themselves. You might ask yourself if your life's worth the coin. Devil's up ahead. They're protecting something. Fresh kills. Or their eggs. Let the weak fall! I know only the eternal. What'd you find, Toge? <laughs> you see that gunslinger? What do you think of my devil? He seems... adequately trained. Yeah. Well-behaved little devil, isn't he? Nice find, Toge. Ugh. Damn shame. Quit struggling, Toge! I'm trying to save you, damn it! Toge, that leg ain't never gonna heal right. That's the way of the world, gunslinger. Useful till you're not.
Well, let's see what those devils were protecting. I knew it! Perfect specimen. Catch a devil before it hatches, and you can raise it as your own. And if you're really lucky, it won't take a bite out of you when it's older. Of course, Sheriff made it against the law to raise a devil. But he ain't here. Town ain't far now. I don't live there myself. My pets aren't welcome. I just come through from time to time for supplies. Would you look at that? Old bastard locked the gate to town. Luckily, I've got a key right here. Go on then, gunslinger. Wouldn't want to keep the sheriff waiting. He's a busy man. I've got to get this egg somewhere safe. I'll see you in town later. Off she went. Hard as nails, that one. Don't worry, she'll be back in this story soon enough. The vault hunter moved on. The bounty was calling. Bet you're wondering how I know all this. Well, you'll just have to take my word for it. At times this story might stretch near to breaking, but I swear on my mother's unmarked grave it's true. Enough. Stop where you are, strangers! Hold your fire, you baka bastard! That ain't a temple rider. Hey there, Tomodachi. I'm Titus, Sheriff's deputy. Uh, come here for a sec. Let's have a chat. Well, look at you. Strutting into my town like you're rough as sandpaper with twice the grit. Let me guess, you're here for the bounty. Yes. Sometimes I hunt for glory. Sometimes I hunt for survival. In this case, I hunt for cold, hard cash. Hope you're tougher than the last bounty hunters that came through. Sheriff just finished digging their graves. Yeah, cemetery's been getting real crowded lately. Anyway, I'll go and let the sheriff know we got another bounty hunter in town. He'll meet you at the saloon. But hey, enjoy the town and stay out of trouble. Otherwise, you and me might have some trouble of our own. Huh, Titus. If he shot his gun as fast as he ran his mouth, maybe things would have turned out differently. Ask about our one-click buying plan. When your trigger goes click, it's time to buy. Everyone has their price. Support local business. Sell to Marcus. You know where to find me. Hey, you. Every respectable town's got itself a saloon. Perfect place to drink down some local knowledge and get the lay of the land. So figured the vault hunter. Fine telling there didn't take too kindly to outsiders. Not a bad place to air the toes, though. No sign of the sheriff. Vault Hunter made friends with the locals. Couldn't even rightly call this swell a drink. Don't you sell me devil piss and call it a beverage, Linda. The question was, how to get the bar's attention. Ooh -hoo -hoo! You gonna let him talk to you like that? Now settle down, drunk William. <clears throat> you remember what happened last time you took that tone with me. <laughs> yeah, we all do. <laughs> you done dealt me spit and told me it was top shelf. Now pour me another. Drink the one you got first. Pour me another, damn it. There they go again, the old stare down. I got five, says Willie Blinks first. Yeah, I'll take that action. <laughs> Yeah. 
If death could see me now. Keep your damn shirt on, you lout. I got a proper customer here for a change. Sorry about that. But ain't you a sight? Newcomer, huh? What can I do for you? Greetings. I am Flack. I come in pursuit of the posted bounty. Where can I find the sheriff? Oh, sure. Sheriff is... Hey! Drunk William, don't you start nothing! Damn outsiders! I swear on the stone y'all are more trouble than you're worth! Which ain't spit! Sheriff never should have drawn up that bounty. I reckon I'll save them devil riders some trouble and run you off my own self! That would be... unwise. Come on! Let's knock some knuckles, outsider! Or are you scared? You are of low intelligence, Tomodachi! You cannot hide! You're so dumb, I'll bet you couldn't teach a devil to bite! Look at you! You're so ugly, you make the train take a dirt road! Hostile bears! You ain't nothing but a vector, cock! Hey there. Hey! You can't come in here and knock out our favorite drunky asshole! Drunk William was the only asshole here, <clears throat> except for maybe you. You leave him be. It was a classic bar fight. Vault Hunter considered doing it the old fashioned way, rather than wasting bullets. Sales. Especially you, Drunk William. Knock that crap off before I knock it out of you myself. Emma hey, Linda, quit with them weak pores. People can't keep up morale on weak pores. Now listen up, everyone. Next round's on me. Yeah! And as for you, newcomer. Sure as the sun hides at night, it is damn fine to see you here. Come on, I want to show you something. I've been fighting the Devil Rider since I was a young man. Around here, all men don't go gray unless he knows his way around the irons. About that bounty. Decades now, we've tried to take care of them Devil Riders ourselves, but gain no ground. Now, I don't mind offering coin for blood so long as I get that blood in kind. Simply salt. Dance, you bastard! Quit it! I didn't do nothing to you! Learn to fight, you inbred mummer. Sheriff called in all these roughnecks, just people like you are too scared to proper. Damn fools. As though we don't have enough troubles around here. Say, you want to take care of this one newcomer? Bet you can't hit that hat off old Pete's domicile. Oh, easy on him, Pete. You're gonna wake the- What a shot. <laughs> Dang! I can see your skin cap, Pete! And it's redder than a temple's wee-wah! <laughs> Fine shot. Let's keep moving. Quit looking at me, you aimless bastards! You're no friends of mine! <laughs> Whew. Thanks, stranger. Thought old Pete had me sorted for a minute. Well, now that we've had our fun, it's time to talk business. The bounty's straight simple. Hunt those devil riders down and I pay you for the pleasure. Hey, Sheriff! Howdy, Sheriff! Shut the hell up! Can't you see I got company? Oh, sorry, Sheriff. I didn't mean anything by it, Sheriff. Gehenna. 
Harsh place, I suppose, but safe enough here. Devils stay clear of town. Some folks say it's because of that right there. The Obsidian Stone, town's pride and joy. Now, I ain't a superstitious guy, but if some stone gives the town peace of mind, fine by me. You know, some ain't happy I drew up that bounty, but I'm glad you're here. Those Devil Rider bastards are gonna bleed, and I got a feeling you're the one to bleed them. We're under attack! Fill your hands, you Devil Rider scum! Devil Riders, blasted to ruin! Pull your iron, bitch! Nobody does bullets, bitch. 
something of mine. I just came to get it back. Nice to catch up, Sheriff. Just like that, the sheriff was gone. All the vault hunter could do was take his badge and make sure it got to Juno. Butcher Rose had left her mark on the town, and the smart money was on her devil riders coming back. Whoever this Juno was, she'd better know how to fight. Sheriff! He's dead! Oh, mercy, no! You, townsperson, where is Juno? She's... She's up on the roof. Titus! Where the hell are you, Titus? Sheriff's dead! Butcher Rose killed him! Titus! You look 
tough enough to win a steering contest with the devil. Get out here, Hatchet! We just wanna catch up with ya! Come on already! Get the hell out of here! Rose put a price on your head and we aim to collect! What the? Didn't seem as though fighting would be an issue for her. Well, you ain't got no Devil Rider ink on you, so I figure you ain't with these dead bastards. State your business, stranger. Sheriff's dead. Rose killed him. Dead? Prove it. The Sheriff wanted you to have his badge. His badge, huh? Give it here, then. Sheriff. He was the only one in town who ever trusted me. Who had my damn back. No, this don't make no sense. If I pin this badge to my vest, the whole town will think I killed him. But that ain't important now. Where the hell is Rose? She fled with the stone. She killed him over a damn stone? <clears throat> Enough's enough. You came here for the sheriff's bounty, didn't you? I'll honor it. Now follow me! You bet I know where Rose took the stone. Devil Rider hide out in the Ashfall Peaks. But first, I got something you might need. This way! Devil Riders call this a breezer. Don't ask me how these things work, but they're a hell of a ride. Here, you'll need this. Give it a try. See if you can get up on the rooftops. Devil Riders broke into the old company facility a while ago. There you go! Vault Hunter went flying like a devil with me. He goes to a shack outside town. What's inside was mine a long time ago. You'll put it to good use, I'm sure. From the shack, it ain't far to the Ash Falls. Devil Rider hideouts up there. If I know Rose, that's where she took the stone. <laughs> Titus, you little bastard, where the hell are you? <laughs> Titus, you better not have got yourself killed or I'll kill you again! Titus! Titus! Anyone see <laughs> Titus? You need a class mod. Juno Shed was just outside of town. Far enough she didn't have to think about it too often, but close enough she could never quite forget.
That shed had stayed locked since the day Juno came to town, but time hadn't tamed the beast inside. Ain't that a sight. Not all the Devil Riders' mounts were flesh and blood. Some of them were fire and chrome. We called those jet beasts. the blast planes, raising up the smell of spent munitions and old ghosts. The frontier stretched out so far you can tell yourself the heavens were close. The ruin was closer.
Ashfall Peaks. Butcher Rose's den of thieves was a ways up the mountain path. Good a place as any to start on that bounty. You've got enemies, and I've got ammo. Have some money. Now, why not spend it? Come <laughs> on. 
Word had gotten round about the sheriff's demise. The hideout was awash in the sounds of celebration. Bottles clanking, half-remembered songs, and fire in the sky. your last breaths
Company scientists had some fancy name for the crystals they dug out of Gehenna's veins. Regular folks just took to calling it core. It fueled the company's weapons of war, and it did strange things to the devils and beasts. Whatever nightmares a company could dream up, core made them real. Back in town, Juno was looking for Titus. Of course she wouldn't find him. That pleasure was reserved for the Vault Hunter. Bounty Hunter, my name is Jameson Hanada, town historian. I'm reaching out because it looks like you're nearing a marker for Carson Sato's travel log. Sato used to be a sheriff in Vestige a few decades back. He rode out one day with a posse to- The Vault Hunter heard a cry for help. <laughs> Distract them!
Hachi. Now come on over here. Oh, man, is it good to see you? Did you <laughs> send you to rescue me? I must tell you, Sheriff's dead. Dead? He can't be. No wonder those devil rider snakes are so happy. Wait, if Sheriff's dead, who sent you? Who'd he leave in charge? Juno. What? <laughs> what in ruination was he thinking? Juno? That just don't make sense. She used to be a damn devil rider. You know that, right? The sheriff's the one who took her in. He said she'd be told her. For her crimes, but I never did trust her. Still don't. Suppose we gotta let that lie for now, though. Come on, get me out of here. I stole this off a devil rider that was roughing me up. It's something the company made, and I thought it might come in handy. You take it. Now, you see that crystal over there? It's infused with coal, called a core exploder. Give it your knuckles. Quick now! Well, damn! I told you those things were volatile! <laughs> now I see why Sheriff outlawed company goods in town. But these are different times, I suppose. Now listen, I overheard some devil riders talking about the stone. And they were keeping it up top in the bathhouse. I'll show you the way. Follow me. Can you believe that? Those devil riders are celebrating the sheriff's death with damn fireworks. Give uh, them a reason to stop celebrating soon enough. Come on then. Let's show these devil riding fester cocks they ain't so damn tough. Some days you are hunting. in a bottle. Thought that only happened in stories. Bottle must have come from the hideout. There was a note inside. The vault under read it. The bottle has leaked and ruined the note. I cannot tell what it says. Ah, don't worry, I remember. It was from a soap maker out of town named Nettle. Said he'd been kidnapped and held in the Devil Rider bathhouse. Offered a reward for anyone <sighs> brave enough to spring him. Ah, yes. I will take on this challenge. You have my thanks. Happy to help, just this once.
right there. That's the way in. Though it ain't like the Devil Riders are just gonna open the doors to you. Take a look around. I'll stand watch. Still alive? <laughs> you know, I thought about asking you to join the Devil Riders. But to ride with us, you've gotta follow the code. And there's no room in our ranks for coin-chasing bounty hunters. The Vault Hunter decided to crash a party. You know we're gonna have some words. Find that stone. We're counting on you. In the company days, the bathhouse was a beacon of hospitality. But there was nothing clean about it now. The vault hunter figured it was time to wash some devil riders in blood. Ask about our one-click buying plan. When your trigger goes click, it's time to buy. Support local business. Sell to Marcus. So the Vault Hunter set about creating a nuisance to draw them out. Starting with some of their prized, ill-gotten goods. I kill. A good hunt.
back there. It didn't seem like the Vault Hunter could use those things, though. They may have been filthy outlaws, but they still enjoyed a nice bath. Vault Hunter hit them where it hurts. Born to the hunt!
is it once you're dead, gunslinger? They weren't taking the bait, so it was time to find something a little more destructive. I knew a very intriguing woman who once said, fire solves many things. There was bound to be something highly flammable about. A little improvised explosive would do the trick. Whether it was a good idea or a bad idea, well, that was hard to say. They're trying to burn down my damn bathhouse! That's it! Get out there and stop them! Well, that sure got their attention. Another cold sight. There's blood everywhere. At the time, it was just another gunfight. But until a few years later, we all started calling that day the Bathhouse Massacre. Scent of lavender and blood hung in the air. The Vault Hunter moved deeper into the heart of the hideout, figuring that's where the stone would be. All right, Gunslinger, all right. Step into my office and let's settle this according to the code.
questions asked. Hunter justifiably and intelligently came to the conclusion that this was a key to a secret room. Every hideout's got one or two. <sighs> you got great gunslinger, I'll give you that. Should have killed. I'd like to tell you that's where the Vault Hunter found the stone, but that ain't the truth. Hey, somebody out there? If it wouldn't trouble you over there, I'd appreciate some help getting out of here. Time someone came along. Was thinking I might die here. Guess not. You did come here to save this old troop door, didn't you? I did not. Where is the stone? The stone? You know, it's the damnedest thing. Butcher Rose was making me play this. I don't really know why. It sounded like Rose ran off with the stone because you were nipping at her heels. Don't know where she took it. But I do know this. The stone, 
It ain't a stone. Then what is it? It's an egg, if you can believe it. I swear to ruin, it's true. Some kind of monster from the company days. Rose called it the Ruiner. Go on, see for yourself. Before the Vault Hunter came to town, Ruiner was just a word. But since then, folks make signs on their hearts when they hear it. <clears throat> Juno would want to see this. Thanks for springing me. I'll see you back in Vestige. Hopefully. Hard to believe. We've been sleeping next to this monstrous thing for all these years. <laughs> this is gonna make for one hell of a song. Time to head back to town and tell Juno the news.
That badge should be mine. Vault Hunter figured it was time to show Juno the big and ugly that Rose was looking to hatch. Hey, Brownie Hunter. Titus was just leaving. Yeah, I think I'd better be off. For your sake, Juno. You be careful around the hatch at Tomodachi. She's got so much blood on her hands, she can't see the lines anymore. Well, how'd it go up there? If you didn't find the stone, I'm guessing it's bad news. The stone is really an egg. The company bred beast inside is called the Ruiner. The Ruiner? Wait, something's wrong. Devil! Incoming! Mercy protect us! What shall we do now, Sheriff? Oh, don't you call me that. Now walk with me. Something I gotta tell you. About what Titus said. Look, I used to be a devil rider. They called me the hatchet. I killed plenty in my time, and I'll take that to my grave. That's why the town don't trust me. We used to just raid the town for supplies. But when Rose took over, things changed. She wanted a massacre. I couldn't take that kind of blood on my hands, so night before, I slipped out to warn these towny bastards. Even helped them fight off the Devil Riders myself. After that, Sheriff let me stay. Said you ain't gonna find forgiveness here, but you can damn well fight for it. Titus thinks I'm fighting to save the town. More like I'm trying to save myself. Anyway, if we're gonna fight this fight together, I just thought you should know. 
Sheriff had some guns here. I'd say you earned them. The gambling hall, where crooked folks played crooked games. Vault Hunter knew that for better or worse, they'd find trouble there that needed sorting. talk about it from time to time. We all thought she was touched. Guess we were wrong. Now, I don't know how Rose plans to hatch that egg, but there's someone who might. Old crone by the name of Oletta lives in the forest. Go see what she knows. The old woman ain't a devil rider, but that don't mean she cares about us neither. Here's hoping Rose ain't killed her yet. Devil riders are coming back sooner or later. They always do. I gotta stick here. Oh, it was a hell of a thing, the hatchet turning on the Devil Riders like she did. Whew, when Rose found out, she put quite the price on Juno's head. Even offered some extra coin if some mean bastard could manage to do the deed with her own hatchet. in my damn ankle. You see that, Hina? I told you some kind-hearted gunslinger would help me up. Thank you, kind. All this twisted ankle needs is a shot of Doc Stanley's miracle elixir. Got some extras in my shed. Go grab me one if you would. Leave him to his troubles, gunslinger. My bloody blister of a husband's addicted to that charlatan Stanley so-called miracle elixir. Might as well throw our money down the crapper. 
Now, Hina, Doc Stanley's a good man. Doc Stanley's genuine miracle elixir. I am dubious at best. That's the one! Bring it back! And thank you kindly. Now I'm gonna pay you for your trouble. But first, give me that cure for what ails me. Well being, here I come. <sighs> See, Hina, good as new. Wait, what? Oh no! Ah! Elon, no! Damn it! Can't rightly believe I lost another husband. <sighs> I tried telling the fool that elixir with hogwash, but there ain't no cure for stupid. Yeah, I know, he just died, but facts are facts. Damn you, Doc Stanley. We gotta destroy his whole operation so ain't no one else widows by spontaneous combustion. We'll start by taking out his raw materials. There's a pumping well he's got providing liquid core for his elixir refinery. How about you take it out? And so the Vault Hunters set off to sabotage Doc Stanley's whole operation. Puffing Corm. Make you blind? Suffering from a devil bite? You don't need a fancy city doctor friend. If you need a quick fixer, try my elixir. That's Doc Stanley's Miracle Elixir, on sale now. that a crook like Doc Stanley would partner up with the Devil Riders. No doubt they were getting a cut of the take. Doc Stanley's been preying on sawed brain folk like my late husband for too long. Let's increase the pressure on that pumping wheel and cut off his supply. satisfied with only blowing up some of those wells, so they did what came natural and set out to destroy the whole place.
We gotta destroy his entire stock. Head to the refinery. Way I figured, if he's got no inventory, he can't prey on desperate idiots like my late husband. May the sand take his stupid soul. Thank you. 
it's damn good at making things burst into flames. May my late husband rest in sizzling pieces. Now jab that vial of garbage into the stockpile and take it out. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. It is done. And yet it is not. Oh, come on then. It just needs a bit of encouragement. Do what you do best. Light it up and watch it burn. Ain't seen that much fire and chaos since the bloodbath at Quinceanera Gulch. That two bit con artist just got a taste of his own medicine. His job ain't done yet, though. Keep at it. Now that Doc Stanley's elixir inventory is gone to ruin, why don't you go ahead and destroy all his refinery equipment so we can't produce any more of that trash? Whatever your quarrel, friend, I got the cure. How's a lifetime supply of Doc Stanley's miracle elixir sound? 
I've seen what your poison does, so I will decline your perilous offer, charlatan. Well, well. We got ourselves a negotiator. Okay. Okay. I've got just the thing for you. Here! Catch! distraught over Doc Stanley's demise, plenty of desperate folks out there looking for a miracle. At least now there's one less miracle hawker on Gehenna. But if I know one thing, it's that miracles don't come in bottles. Now, can I interest you in a sample of Doc Hena's miracle grenade? Another step in Sato's journey awaits at a nearby journal. See if you can find it. That's how they met Slim, with his backside in the sand and beat half hollow. Vault Hunter decided to lend a hand, 
seeing as they were already in the neighborhood. I think I busted my dang coccyx. Oh, I think I spotted a quarter down here. My luck's finally turning up. Mighty obliged. Those fellas are as loose as a noose and twice as twisted. They took my money and tossed me out my behind. I'd avenge myself, but my shooting hand's about as steady as a snake with two rattles. Any creature can learn to kill. It's only a matter of motivation. I will teach you. Heck, I'll do it if it means I can settle my score with Drunk William. And I know just the place to practice. Follow me. Slim's daddy, Lightning Luke, was something of a local legend. When Slim was born, he was a spitting image. Now he's all grown, except for the spine. Most everybody was tickled they could kick Luke's boy around. But if anyone's got dueling in the blood, it's Slim. Sometimes I sneak back here to enjoy my drinks in solitude and safety. There are some bottles lying about. Maybe you can show me some of that sharpshooting of yours? Just give those bottles the old woofer. Go on. Well, don't that beat all? You're a damn fine shot, friend. How'd you manage that? I aligned the weapon's sights with the target and fired. It's fairly simple. Feeling fresher than a two mint julep. How'd I do? You did about as well as I've come to expect of a human, which is to say, terribly. It was as though you listened keenly to every word of my. advice and then did the exact opposite i'm astonished you've survived this long wow that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me but what if drunk william shoots me wish i had some armor slim wasn't about to cross irons with drunk william with nothing but stitches and sand to keep him standing vault hunter knew they'd have to find some protection for him if they wanted him to grow the stone for a duel Safety first. Might not stop a bullet, but it might make a man think twice before shooting. Perfect! I'm gonna go get ready for the duel before I forget all the training! Boy, if my papa could see me now, my first duel! My fingers are all in fits, I tell ya! Ain't no turning back now. I'll wait here while you go tell that no good, low down, lousy, lack wit, drunk William that I'm a calling him out to duel! Drunk William liked to think he was the toughest mother's son this side of the sand. The type of fella who'd chew the fleas off a skag and ask for seconds. But someone needed to put him in his place. Which is to say, an unmarked hole in the dirt. Whether Slim had the grit, though? Well, that remained to be seen. on Slim's face. I just want to drink my sarsaparilla tea. Drunk William, Slim is outside and wishes to duel you. I don't mean to be rude, but I think it would be best for everyone, everywhere, if you lost. What? Slim wants to duel me? Ha! <laughs> All right, I can use a laugh. You tell him I'll be right out. Drunk William was ready for a fight. <laughs> Nothing for the Vault Hunter to do but tell Slim to get ready. Ready as he could get anyhow.
fancy looking tech right there. Didn't seem like the Vault Hunter could use it yet, though. Don't you worry about me. I've never felt better in all my years. I was born for this. I'm headed for glory. Wait, my head. My head's bare than old Pete's domicile. Quick, give me something for my skull cap. Good enough. Toss it up there on the old thinkerator. Golly, my brains are locked up tighter than Granny's pearls. Now I've really got a leg up on drunk William. Wait, my legs, quick! Enough blathering, Slam. Let's get the blasting. Bounty hunter, you ring that bell over there so I know when I can finally kill this sloppy SOB. We die at the sound of the bell. Fine by me. May as well. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Well, don't that beat all. Slim survived, but only just. And they only found his feet with the Vault Hunter's help. Let me know if you die, and I'll just turn this into a corpse frisk. Ooh, that kicks like a three-hailed hot dam! But I'm alive! I feel like there's lightning in my veins and thunder in my throat. Next time someone's fool enough to take me on, I'm gonna write my name in their blood. Ain't nobody gonna call me the son of Lightning Luke no more. Y'all can call me Slam Thunder. Another answers the call of the hunt. And his name is Slim Thunder. Ooh, there's a new killer in town. Y'all better believe it. Huh. He survived? Well, come on back, bounty hunter, so you can get your coin and I can get to work building boxes. Well, I don't know if Doolin's gonna catch on like it used to, but the more folks killing each other, the better my business booms. Besides, if this town's gonna survive, we need the roughest roughnecks to know their way around the irons. It's just survival of the fittest, that's all. Till next time, bounty hunter.
enemies, and I've got ammo. Oh, there's a plan. Vault Hunter. When you need a dose of the red stuff, come find me. If we're done here. message in a bottle. You require a rescue? Well, hot damn! It worked! Just like in the stories. Now, before I can smell the fresh air of freedom again, I need a big whiff of the sweetest scent there is. Revenge. The man who locked me up, Soapy Steve. He forced me to make all kinds of specialty soaps for him. About now, he'll be taking his fourth dip of the day over in the private baths. Find him for me, and I'll make it worth your trouble. You'll hear him before you smell him, and that's saying something. I've seen him combine the Phoenix soaps. No man should be able to survive. Soapy Steve had no idea just what kind of bath he was in for. That's gotta be for that! He's in there! Lock him inside for a start! Just jam something in the door! I am here to ensure that your bath is anything but relaxing. It is vengeance for Nettle. So you locked me in my favorite place in the world? Ha! Some revenge! Damn! He's right! 
Soapy Steve loves bats more than anything! Wait, I've got it! We gotta give him so much bath he'll never want one again! Grab some bath salts! Let's get fizzy! with iridium essence? That'll fizz up his bath right good. Add it to the water. Continues, but you're in the Oh, my God. 
Morgan's private reserve bubble bath. But just a little. That stuff is really potent. I don't bathe, so I'm assuming a little means the whole bottle. No! You're mad! Entirely mad! It's gonna be way too bubbly now! As promised, for my rescue and a revenge well drawn, here's a little something to add the soothing relaxation and clean feeling of a nice sudsy bath to your everyday wanderings. As for me, I'm finally gonna pursue my lifelong dream. That's right, I'm gonna open a laundromat in town and live my best life.
I send you all to death! Forest. Dangerous place, eh? Full of strange flora and stranger fauna, including wayward core infused experiments from, you guessed it, the company days. I used to have one just like that.
hard to believe, but the Devil Riders actually got the railway working again. What they were doing with it, though? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Another! More! woman lived all alone in the heart of the forest. She was a strange bird, that one. Distract them! Beast, stay strong!
just told me someone was coming. So, why are you here? Juno sent me. Juno? I haven't talked to her since she went and moved into that human cage they call it now. Can't imagine what business she'd have with me. What's this about? I've heard of a beast called the Ruiner. Rose is attempting to hatch it. Tell me what you know. Of course she is. The fool. This way. Come on now. I'll tell you what I know. I need your help with something. The Ruiner. Huh. Company always loved its dramatic names. Interitus Retina was designed as the eighth bioengineered weapon. Company scrapped the project when they realized it couldn't be controlled. There's a piece of raw core over there. Grab it for me. I used to work for the company, you know. The Domino. Good, good. Now, bring it here. Just give me a moment to work. You see, I believe I found a way to temporarily charm hostile creatures, and even humans. <laughs> The Mentus Dominion, or Mentonets, to keep it simple, are unique species of parasitic bugs which, when exposed to infused core, can seize the minds of their victims. In theory, anyway. Now for the final step. Ooh, this is exciting. There. Infused core. Quite a bit more potent than its raw form. Go on, take it. This way. Come on now. Now, add a small piece of the infused core to each of the Mentonats breeding containers. There are only a few left that still need it. I've already taken care of the others. If my experiment is successful, You'll be able to temporarily turn enemies into allies. Meaning you just might survive this place. And sure, Rose may have passed through here safely, but she has her own methods. Experiment and make those bugs work for us. I'll give you the honor. Release the Mentonets, and we'll see if the experiment was a success. Look out there! It's working. The bugs will now be attracted to the Gallius Virgium Flora across Gehenna. Agitating the plant will cause the bugs to seek. Marvelous. But there's one more step. Come here. Before we 
we can call the experiment a success. We must try this on a live specimen. This way. Rambunctious. We can change that. Yes, indeed. Damage the traitor weed plant to see the results of our efforts. The Menta Nats will then seek a new host, thus taming the belly. I'll be in here, taking notes. Success! You didn't doubt me, did you? Ha ha ha, the joy of discovery still thrills my heart. Wait, do you hear that? The wild bellics. <clears throat> Show you the way to Rose. As I said, Rose went to the mines to load up a train full of core. With enough, she may succeed in hatching the Ruiner. That cannot happen. You must stop her. This is as far as I go. Farewell, gunslinger. Everyone on this backwater rock knew about Oletta. Some said she was the one who told Rose about the Ruiner. Then again, some folks are liars. I should know. Hurry up and get that core loaded! Before that bounty hunter comes and kick up a fuss! Damn it to ruin! They're here! The bounty hunter is here! Guns up, Let's get them. Devil riders were loading the train down with coal. Thought no one would be there. There was a valve that controlled the flow of core out from the mine. Vault into a big big jam. Rose must have seen that coming and locked down the controls. So the vault hunter took to some righteous destruction, as was their want. Question was, I stop the train. I require bombs. Constantly. But especially now. They did indeed need bombs. Sheriff's gone, though. I'd love to get her back. That old crone Oletta should know where Bella's at. Old woman, I seek a beast named Bella for Titus. Do you know her location? Of course I do. She's at Ginfor Grotto. <clears throat> I've got some foraging to do, so I'll take you to Bella's den. Try and keep up. Well, don't keep me waiting. <laughs> 
strong enough to tame Gehenna. Bombs were looking mighty handy, laced with refined core for a bit of extra oomph. The Ruiner was my grandmother's project, you know. She put her heart and soul into it. Then the company got cold feet. But I'll finish what she said. Bring her dream to life. Then Gehenna will be mine, and there won't be anyone fool enough to try to take it from me. Ooh. had collapsed. Company never bothered to clear it out.
Boys around here say that when you want bloody work done, the hatchet's who you call. Now listen close. We're gonna make another run on the town, and I want you by my side when we do. All right. What we going for? Got plenty of munitions, foodstuffs. Don't seem short on supplies. Oh, this isn't a supply raid. That's the old way of doing things. I want you to take the town. And I don't expect there to be any survivors. You understand me? That's bloody work. I'm the butcher, and you're the hatchet. <laughs> Frankly, I don't see how it was going to be any other way. <laughs> <laughs> yep, told you they packed a punch. <laughs> The shortcut worked wonders. Vault Hunter set to planting those explosives on the tracks. Luckily, the train didn't come along till they were done. Trust me on that. That's just how stories work. Greater, ever stronger.
Bombs were set. Now for my favorite part. Boom. The explosion echoed through the forest, and those devil riders didn't even get a chance to hit the brakes. Stop. Now the Vault Hunter needed to find out where that train was going. Figured the conductor would know, if he was still in one piece. Have some money. Now why not spend it? I used to have one just like that. Sell to Marcus. Always a pleasure, Vault Hunter. Too much money and not enough blood? You're at the right place. Slayer. Beautiful last words out of that bastard. Luckily, that wasn't a conductor. Nope, wasn't that one neither. There he was, the conductor. Butcher Rose is gonna make you pay for that. <laughs> See you in ruin, bounty hunter. takes you. Where was this train going? Hear me. 
Rose has been transporting Core to a facility of some kind. Yeah, I know where it is. Been there before. I'll meet you outside. You ain't getting in without my help. That was where the company started this whole mess. Seemed a good enough place to end it. New 
user identified, granting access to Telezapper Network. There you go. Now look, Rose must be using core to power a company launcher of some sort. If anything's got the firepower to crack that egg, it's company tech. Find that launcher and shut her down. Vault Hunter couldn't use that company gadget just yet. I told you that. Where you need to get it. But on your way now. Facility's not far. Get going. in charge. That mangy bastard better open the gates for me. Watch out for Rose. She got her eye on you. You know where to find me. You've got enemies and I've got ammo. You will be back. Buy yourself a mod for the Merkel. You're already dead. You know that, right? Devils, the beasts, it all came from here. The facility was a bastion, a clever folk, fancy tech, and hubris. The company had a name, but you won't hear anyone around here offer it free. Same reason you hold your breath like you pass a trade. You there, how are your last breath? See me! Oh God, I'm sorry, I won't say the truth. I'm coming, I'll let you. 
Rabble was roused and promptly put down. Now it was time to get inside. Access denied. <laughs> Always one step behind, aren't you? I think you know by now that there's always another way in. <laughs> Zapper. That was a ticket. <laughs> to a lot of folk, the company facility was a tomb. Not for dead men, but for a Gehenna the company buried when they left. Not many of the grit to set foot on the company's grave. You know, my grandmother worked here. Right in this building, in fact. Recruited for Project Endless Horizons. Brilliant woman, so I've been told. And hey, I'm just trying to honor the family legacy here. You understand? Don't you, Gunslinger? Death welcomes you. Invincible! <laughs>
a try. <laughs> Not quite. Concentrate, Rose. This is important. You have to get it right. Your grandmother taught this song to me when I was a little girl. Welcome to the facility. Our elite team has been recruited from throughout the system to participate in Project Endless Horizons. All of our exciting progress is thanks to Malleus Mutatio, or Core. None of our projects would be possible without it. Core. The element that sparks new life into our bio-enhanced flora and fauna. Core, which fuels our experimental weaponry and tech programs. From our groundbreaking telezephyr network to innovations in long-range ballistics, this is Project Endless Horizons, the future of the James It's almost funny, you know. The company claimed the Ruiner could be tamed. They were wrong. Dead wrong. My grandmother was smarter than any of those empty suits. She knew exactly how to control her. And so do I. When the company shut down the facility and abandoned Gehenna, they bombed what they could and left. But my grandmother couldn't leave her work behind. When the last shuttle hit orbit, she was right there flipping at the bird and shouting, COWARDS! Killed me instantly. 
damn shame to lose your wife to a pack of animals like the Devil Riders. Looks like it was time to rescue the devil. Vault Hunter eventually used the breeze bloom they found and rode the material transport boxes to get where they were going. to death!
Life brought to you by Hyperion. Hyperion, you die when we say Hyperion. Still time to stop the launch. Telling me Rose is gonna wake up a gigantic company monster? We're screwed, Juno! We're screwed! Say it a little louder, Titus! I don't think the whole damn town heard you! Well, what the hell are we gonna do? We got a hard enough time as it is just fighting the devils and the gang! Me and you are the- Well, you're alive. Any other good news? Rose evaded me. I figured. But we know where she's going now. Incoming! The sky's raining fire! Uh, ruin! Find shelter, everybody! Devil Rider's coming! Bounty Hunter, you're up! You there! How are your last breaths?
on, Sheriff. You ain't done yet. <laughs> you. You saved my damn life. Yeah, well, don't go thinking you can give up the badge that easy. <laughs> Fair enough, Deputy. It's not over yet, Bounty Hunter. Devil Riders ran off licking their wounds. I say we take the fight to them. You thinking we go for a ride, Sheriff? Yeah, that's on my mind. Well, you ready to collect on that bounty? It's about hot damn time. Meet you outside town, then. Not bad fighting, Titus. You weren't so bad yourself, Sheriff. You there! What you doing? Ain't doing nothing, Sheriff. Not no more, you're not. You're riding with us. You heard the sheriff. Saddle up! It's a posse, is it? Well, all right then. I kind of you. Get yourself a ride, bounty hunter! Bounty Hunter? Here we go! Me and Titus can take care of the Devil Riders. Just watch about the road, Bounty Hunter. Oh, 
right. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. End of the road. Time to take on Rose. <clears throat> now, you might be wondering why they call me the liar. Some say it's on account of what I swear transpired next. But to be honest, I hardly believe it myself. But the Vault Hunter descended toward Crater's Edge, their iron hot in hand, with enough grit to sand a tree trunk smooth. They were ready to fight, and good thing, too. Rose had slipped through their fingers too many times, but there was nowhere left for her to run. It was a dead end. Apple named. holding the reins. Come on, gunslinger. Draw. Eyes to the sky, bounty hunter.
follow. There was still the matter of the bounty, and it was time to head back to town to collect. Dangerous to go alone. We'll see. Dying's for 
suckers and psychos. Try Dr. Ziz, it's the health. Leaving already? changed when the ball came to town. Mm -hmm. Been tried and tried. About that bounty, you sure earned it and then some. Here, take this. Yeah! Head on over to the bank. Whatever's inside is yours for the taking. We owe you everything. Well, it was one hell of a pleasure riding and fighting with you, Tomodachi. Sure hope you stick around a while. Bad haul, all things told. Funny thing, townsfolk never did find Rose's body. But I suppose that's a story for another day. Riders ain't to take that train. 